Whoever puts a little effort and read well One Piece manga should know this. Oda Ichiro Oda Sensei is greatly inspired and influenced by history and religions. Not just one religion, many, of course. And with history and religions, I mean this, this, and that, those, of course, these, and more, and these, and so on and on and on and on. Slowly, man. Don't stop. Believe in all than one piece. This is Joy. Today we learn about the will of D. What D stands for? It's the family of D. What is the name of the ancient kingdom? Do you want to know it? We try to dive deep into it. Are you ready? Let's go. To go really a little, little deeper in the matter, Japan, as you know, does not offer a great, differentiated, interesting history, and so also religion. That's why, for example, Zoro's dialogues, our Zoro character and protagonist, his story background, and so is martial and sword techniques, names, are not that phenomenal, right? They are representing the traditional Japan. Whereas the Western history, is full of adventures and battles, full of exploration and invention. And what continent and part of the West continent of the West culture had the more history and florid religion? Well, you don't need a master in history like me to guess it, right? Europe, Europe and European continent, the Mediterranean Sea, exactly. The sea which was cradle of civilization, the greatest civilization in ancient, in ancient times, okay? Europe and the Mediterranean Sea, the first civilization to make alphabets, to build magnificent temples and cities. Egyptians, Jews, Greek, Roman, and even interesting for One Piece history. From Atlantis to Greek gods, from Rome and his Colosseum, his emperors to the pharaohs and explicit biblical references. The Mediterranean Sea, the Christian culture specifically, was and these plundered by all the sensei day by day, year after year. Just to give you some example, chronological order of the One Piece story. For example, where were Aesop and Pinocchio, Aesopus, Aesopus, the Greek Aesopus, and Pinocchio, the Italian Pinocchio, Japanese? Have you ever heard of a French chef in Japan or India? Of a Japanese golden Ramsey, perhaps kicking pirate's asses around the sea? Do you know a Korean or Chinese swordman with moustache and a Christian cross looking exactly right out of a 17th century French or English novel? Well, I guess no. You can find such characters and such depiction and uh, people in Japan or in Asian continent. Because it is in the UK, in France, in Spain, in Italy, in Greece, that you can hear, touch with your hands and eyes, and you can find info about Atlantis, so the ancient kingdom, Alabasta, so Egypt, Water 7, so Venice, or Amsterdam, whatever. I think Venice better, Venezia. It is not, after all, a pirate universe, a pirate story, the One Piece story. Have you ever heard of a Japanese or Russian pirate, giants and minions? of a Vietnamese black beard, of a Thai Columbus discovering America in the Pacific Ocean, in the Philippines. <laughs> well, there is Wikipedia if you still disagree and come up with the Japanese Navy. And I don't know, I mentioned all Asian country by now. <laughs> the Taiwanese Francis Drake, let me know in the comments. But for now, that's it. This is it.